What is up, Smack Empire? Smack Empire here, and welcome back to another Bendy and the Dark Revival video. This is going to be another small teaser analysis as Joey Drew Studios, the team behind Bendy and the Ink Machine, have posted yet another, and this time very juicy, teaser for their upcoming game, Bendy and the Dark Revival. On official Bendy account on Twitter, as well as Meatly, they posted a brand new post regarding this, and Meatly's caption is very interesting. Quote, I want you to meet a new friend of mine which is actually a thread post from official Bendy account that says, quote, return to the studio with new eyes. These two statements are huge, and I mean huge in terms of explaining what are we getting in this game. And I'm gonna come back to these captions in just a second, but going back to the post, it shows a brand new character, or what I assume to be a brand new character, as she says, my name is Audrey. And unlike last teaser, this time we can clearly see all the details surrounding this character. The facial details, hand details, it looks very polished and very well designed, and guess what? This character is more than welcome as anything for us fans from Bendy franchise is happily and passionately accepted as we've been asking for something, anything from this franchise, mainly the release date for such a long time now. Her design looks very different, yet it has core elements from first game, of course we've seen in gameplay trailer that this game is a super polished, or at least that's what I'm assuming or I'm hoping for, it is a big step up from the last game, which, mind you, was really inksy and cute. However, this time, it feels a bit more serious, more dark, more inky, not to be confused with inksy. But let's get to the theory section. Who is this character? What is that on her hand? What's up with her eyes? And what is that transformation between ink creature and the real side of her, human side of her? Well, let's try to understand all this one by one. Firstly, let's start with the name. Audrey. Now, when I first saw the name, I was more than sure that I've read that name somewhere in the first game. I went back and forth, that's why I've been, I'm a bit late with the video, to make sure I'm not missing anything or any details. But I couldn't find any data that has anything to do with the name Audrey. So that means we haven't seen her yet, and she's the new entry in the franchise. Or is she? Let's talk about the caption that I mentioned earlier. I want you to meet a new friend of mine. This is clearly a new character. Character that might have had history with anyone from the first game. I mean, obviously, that's why she here, but when I say from the first game, I mean she might have had history with Henry, Allison, Wally Frank, okay, maybe not him, or maybe someone like Joey Drew himself. After all, he's the one pulling the strings in here. So now that we have established that she's had history with someone in here, let's talk about second thing, her eyes. We've seen that glow before, that same glow in someone else's eyes. This is an indication that her transformation from human self to ink creature is happening. She is losing her human self from inside because becoming what Joey wants everyone to become, this inky creature, something we see Henry go through slowly. We even have this design explicitly telling us that this is the exact case. Look at her dress, half of it looks normal while the other half not so much, which means she's still there and she's still, keyword still, transforming, going through that human to inky creature self. And remember, this game is not a sequel but also not a prequel either, so that is a big detail to keep in mind moving forward. So that was the technical side. Let's get into a bit more details here. What is her role? Who is she? Well, there are a ton of theories and routes we can go towards and take this. Let's say if we say a worker, that would not count as everyone from Allison, Wally, all the way to Henry. These are all workers here. Employees who just wanted to get paycheck. Well, some of them had different ideas and plans and intent, but that's another story. So that leaves us with two choices. Either someone Henry related or Joey related, just like Susie, Allison, and all these other characters characters. They didn't have much interaction with Henry from the surface level. After all, he left the company first, which then led to all of what happened in the first game. But also the other caption, return to the studio with new eyes. That is a big detail and hint right there. We might be getting a new protagonist or one of many protagonists that we're going to play as in this new story. After all, they did say return to the studio with new eyes and this glowy eyes will be ours when we play Bendy and the Dark Revival. Whatever her role or history is, it has to do with the final point of all of this, and that is this hand glow right here. This is something we should be familiar with. This is something that makes her stand out. It makes her different from other subjects, and that is why her path to being a villain is even more vitally open. No one is a hero in this world. Everyone is a villain in some department. This could demonstrate her power, something that Joey found out about, but she wasn't too happy about it, or she just became one of the best subjects Joey's ever had. Cool. Whoever she is, she's more than Audrey to me. Okay, maybe yeah, we need to cut that one out. 
With that being said, that will wrap up this Bendy teaser analysis video. Who is Audrey? What's her role in this story? Let me know your theories and thoughts down in the comments below. And yes, I'll be back with Dark Deception videos very soon. Calm down and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe now to become an official member of Smag Empire. Help me get to 20,000 subscribers. I'm Smag and until next time, take care and peace.